from the book of Luke, the seventh chapter, verses three through six.
sponsored reading is coming from the book of Luke, the second chapter, verses 8 through 20. You have to say amen. 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 And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping the watch over their flock by night. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings and great joy. We shall be to our people. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace. Goodwill towards me. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in the manger. And all they that heard it were wondered at those things which were told them by the shepherds. All together, and the shepherds turned, glorified, praising God, all the things that they had heard and seen, as it was told unto them. Amen.
will start life and move heavier. Thank you for all the kindness you bring to the world. Thank you for your generous gift. And it's good to know I'm still in your heart. You're still in my heart, Michelle Tucker. Amen. Amen. The Usher Board has partnered with Sister Beverly Brown, giving out food in the fellowship hall. You are welcome to go over and get what you need for your Christmas meal or any other meal after Christmas, only while quantities are available. Amen. We also want to note that today uh, is December 18th, as uh, of today, after morning worship, the church will be closed for weekly uh, meetings and services. The church will continue to be open Sunday morning. Next, Christ, uh, next Sunday is Christmas. Morning worship starts at 10 a.m. On a very sad note, we announced the passing of Sister Bessie May Woods. Uh, for those of you that don't know, that's the mother of Brother Amos Williams and the grandmother of uh, uh, Brother Michael Williams and Sister Kim Humphrey. Uh, so arrangements are pending. Uh, this happened yesterday. Uh, please be prepared for more instructions. We also want to acknowledge that Sister Rosa Jackson has been hospitalized since Thursday. She remains there, so we uh, want her to be in our thoughts and prayers as well. Last, Brother Jackson has a special announcement. Good morning, Bethany. Sunday school for the next two, well, for the next Sunday, for this Sunday, for Christmas and New Year's. So uh, put that on your calendar. Don't show up for Sunday school unless you just want to come in and sit down. <laughs> and warm up or something. But there will not be Sunday school for the next two Sundays. Amen? Amen. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. I'm Janice Davis. Will all the visitors please stand? Let your say amen. amen. Say amen again. Amen. amen, amen, amen. We give praises to our God for the privilege of coming together and worship. We ask that you would cover yourselves according to the announcements and pray for those who are sick and sick. And she asked the business to stand. My heart was broken. Man, Amber stood up and I thought she was my member. Man, she was doing another church. That's my but that's how I still love this spite of all that. Good to see everybody today. Y'all looking mighty good, looking mighty good. We got y'all ready for Christmas. Yeah. Two, two people in the Two people. Well, uh, next Sunday is Christmas. Service is going to start at 10. 
And if you're going to have an abbreviated service, that means we're not going to last as long as we normally do. I'm going to try to have y'all here by 11 o'clock next week. Sister Chris swears that I ain't going to be able to preach that short. Amen. But I think God is able. Y'all pray hard that y'all wish. It's going to be my present to y'all next week. Next Sunday, we start at 10 o'clock. I don't come busting up till 11.30. Talking about they lied to didn't have no church. Billy's going to still be hot and rocking, but we're going to try to get out of here by 11 next week. Amen? Amen. I don't think I ain't going to preach a sermon. There's going to be some good news next week. We're going to some good news. But uh, we to a glorious time in the Lord. We're going to celebrate Christ's birthday in a big way. Amen? Amen. Amen. Let's be prayerful for him family of Sister Bessie Williams. She's been a member here a long time. So you know the colors may not know her. She was in her 90s. Uh, if you want to know who she related to, she's related to Mr. Mike Williams. Everybody know Big Mike. The uh, ruler for the... Uh, <laughs> for the Eagles. Y'all uh, had him on the back. That's two, two regrets he had to He just lost his grandmama. The game next Saturday. Everybody? Right. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Y'all pray for Mike. Uh, she's also the grandmother of Sister Kim Hunt. <coughs> Sister Kim Hunt. They mentioned Angus, but y'all haven't seen Angus in so long. They, they probably seen us since they've seen Angus, but that's all right. Y'all all right. Big A is all right with me, y'all. Pray for them. Amen. 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 Pray for Sister Jackson here. She's hospitalized. Pray for all those persons who are experiencing bereavement. We want to continue to pray that God will give her strength. Especially at this time of the year, during the holidays, it's kind of rough when you go through the holidays without loved ones. Uh, it's a time when you're kind of forced to remember. But remember, uh, he says, now abides. That means it's going to stay with you. Faith, right. hope, and love. In other words, love never dies. Oh, no. You don't lose love. So that even though they have crossed over, they transition to be with the Lord. The love is still alive. Yeah. And if you love mom and daddy before they die, you can still love them right now. Yeah. 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 If they do a good job, they still talk to you now. Yeah, they're right. Yeah. Yeah. You know, every time you think you're going to do something, you ain't got no business. You remember what your mama told you. Yes, sir. And what your mama said. So let's be proud to always say to us, those of us whose parents are going to try to find some old birds and they ain't got nobody. Go out there and try to make their day, make them happy. Amen. 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 Uh, yeah, thank you, preacher. He reminded me, Sister Gerd, I call him Sister Gut. Uh, she lost her grandson. Uh, he was killed, I think, on last week. So let's be proud. Sister Gerd has been going through for a while. Uh, she's losing a lot of love. I was talking with her uh, on yesterday. She said they uh, would probably be going transition to traffic today, but let's be prayerful for her that the Lord will give her strength during this time of bereavement as well. Uh, it's always bad to lose somebody, but it's even worse when they're younger than you are. It's bad to lose children, but grandchildren even rougher than that, so let's, let's be prayerful. We live in some fearless times, a whole lot of needless killing going on. Let's pray that God will, will take over. Amen. 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 All right. Um, happy birthday.
day after tomorrow. <laughs> Tuesday. Brother Coach Anthony Tony McGee.
praise to his name. Amen. Amen.
us in reading our book. It's found in Luke chapter 2. Luke chapter 2. I'm going to catch up and start at verse 8 all the way through verse 20. But I won't read all that for you. I'll just want to look at two verses. Luke chapter 2, verse 14. Luke chapter 2, verse 14. Luke chapter 2, verse 19. And 14 verse says, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. Verse 19 says, But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. Now repeat after me. Pondered them in her heart. In her heart. For a few minutes I'm going to talk on the subject of peace to ponder. Peace. somebody and say confirmation. Oh, One thing you got to understand is that walking with God has its privileges. But One of the good things about God is that because he is spirit, because his communication, his communication with us is spiritual, yeah, sometimes if you aren't careful, the devil would plant doubt in your heart. Passage, God is a God of confirmation. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I love what I love about walking with God. Does not God all, God will not only tell you, but he will confirm what he has told you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody ought to testify. You know, the devil might try to mess with you, but when God selects you, God put something in you to validate the selection. Child of God, you ought not to be walking with doubt in your heart. You should have doubt in your heart that you might be saved. There's some things you should know for certain. Yeah, yeah. There are some things God confirms every day of your life. You ought to know that it was God who woke you up this morning. Walks with you and talks with you and makes a way out of no way. Somebody ought to just pray it right there for confirmation that it's good that God confirms that we are his children. Yes, sir. That he is with us. Lo, I'm with you always. Even unto the end of the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that was all they told us. Look, 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 you look at that verse. That verse 8 it says that there with some shepherds in that country, and the angel of the Lord uh, talked with them. And they came, uh, they gave them some confirmation. He says, you need to understand something. Uh, when the angel was gone away, he says, and you'll find a babe. Yeah, yeah. With Mary and Joseph lying in a manger. And when they have seen it, they made known the cross, saying, that which was told unto him. All they that heard it wondered at those things which was told them by the shepherds. Wow. Hmm. Mary didn't wonder, she just pondered yeah. in her heart. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Woo. What did they what did they tell him? Say you're gonna have some, some proof. He said he's born this day in the city of David. Yeah. The right place. At the right time. Mm. Y'all don't get it. Y'all don't get it. Yeah, yeah. Years before, a generation before, Isaiah told us he was going to be born in Bethlehem. Yeah, yeah. yeah and, and, and he was going to be a savior. Yeah. Wow. I wish I had a witness here. Yeah. That's shouting stuff. He's going right. to be a savior. Right. Huh? These shepherds, these shepherds get the word that Christ, this baby, is born. And he's going to be a savior. Yeah. Oh, y'all will get it, yeah. 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 And he is Christ the Lord. Right. Yeah. That don't mean a whole lot to y'all. But see, when he says he's a savior, that's an all food. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We're going to talk some more about that. But if he's a savior, he's saving us from something. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. yeah. He's a baby, but he's my savior. Uh -huh. Don't be anything to you, but to a Hebrew Jewish person, they've been taught all their lives. You can expect a blessing from God. Right. Yeah. He's gonna be a savior. Oh yeah, you you looking for a chariot with some horses and you're looking for a crown and a king? You never imagined he would be in the form of a little baby. Yeah. I wish I had a good yeah. Yeah. God is so powerful; He can yeah. save us. With the smallest amount of good. Yeah, yeah. This little baby is going to be your savior. Yeah, yeah. Not only is he your savior, but he is Christ. Wow. And that term Christ is not a name. It's not Jesus Christ's last name. It's Jesus the anointed one. Right, right. That's, that's a title. He, he's somebody special. He, he came with a purpose. He came for a reason. Is Christ the Lord? Yeah. You know that's too technical for you. I can tell you how he's gonna be dressed. Right. He's gonna be wrapped in swaddling. Come on, get some yeah. yeah. Some folks need a sign. He said the sign is he's gonna be in swaddling clothes. He's not gonna have on a T-shirt uh, with Lamb's name on the back at number eighty-eight. Gonna be in some regular clothes. He's he not gonna have a t shirt saying Bethany Baptist Church on it. He, yeah. 
he's just going to have some swaddling clothes. He's not going to go around with some fur or mink or some fabulous wardrobe. He's going to have some little regular wrapping that they wrap a child in. Y'all better hear me today that, that you're going to find this child, this savior, this anointed one, and he's just going to be a regular child. He, he's going to be wrapped up, dressed up like regular children. And Mary is hungry. You know, sometimes we mess up because we try to make people special by what they wear. Yeah. Oh. Most people know that my children more than your children because I spend more money on my children's clothes. I don't understand why you're going to pay as much for your little girls, your little boys' tennis, and they cost as much as mine. But they're going to outgrow my wish. They're going to outgrow theirs. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me to spend a lot of money yeah. on children's stuff that that what separates my children from the world is not what they have on, but what they, come on here somebody. Yeah. What they have on the inside. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to, want to be special, you better teach them who the Savior is. Right. 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 If you want to be special, teach them who the anointed one is. Right. If you don't have to brag on your children, if God has his hands on them, he'll make the world know who they are. Yeah. Testify today that Man. God has his hands on us. And yes. if it wasn't for the Lord on our side, Amen. we wouldn't be where we are today. Yes, I thank God for my mama. Thank God for my daddy. I'm not who I am because of my mom and my daddy. I'm, I'm who I am because the Holy Ghost lives inside of me. Yes. God called the Lord to God. Gave you purpose and gave you a reason for living. And you can say what you want with all this other junk y'all trying to grab on to. It really ain't going to do a whole lot for you. It might help the resume, but you need to know who you have on the inside. And if you, if you got the right piece on the inside, the words of the world won't bother you. It doesn't matter if they're bothering you. They, 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 they bullied because they get teased at work and at work at school and at home. Yeah. They want to take their life. Something yeah. sad when you let words bother you. Yeah. you know? yeah. See, what y'all call bullying, we call it teasing. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Later on, they come and say, you're playing the dozen. I say, I love folks to play the dozen with me because yeah. yeah. I learned how to play the dozen at my house. Yeah. I didn't have to leave home with no bullying. My, my sister and my yeah. brothers knew how to tease yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah. We wake up in the morning teasing one another, but I wasn't the oldest child for nothing. I had a PhD. I wish I had a PhD. I know how to go with you. You want to play with me? You better watch out. That you better ask my sister and brother that joke will put you to tears when you get through. You talk about so bad, your enemies just start crying for you. That that you gotta understand. Go on, don't let words, sticks and stones, may hurt my bones. The words that ain't gonna stay out. Understand, I've got something on the inside that makes me have that duck mentality that some stuff just roll off on my back. Uh, yeah, you can talk about how ugly my shoes are, you can talk about how cheap my clothes are, but they say clothes made the man I dare to differ. I went around a whole lot of time when I was a boy with some shorts on, bare feet, and no shirt, and I still do for somebody. I Somebody, because God put his hands on me. I was somebody because I was God's child. And it was a, really early in my life, I learned Jesus loves me. And this I know. You know what? I want to tell all you children, don't let anybody tell you that you are nobody. Don't let anybody try to make less of you. Don't let anybody try to come down to you. And all of us are somebody because we are the children of God. something to me. Y'all hold your head up high. I don't care where you live. I don't care what income is. I don't care what people say about you. You know that you are somebody. You may be black, white, Jew, or Gentile, Asian, Latino. I don't care what your makeup is. If God got his hands on you, he can make a difference. Mary pondered 
Bible says she's hungry because she has peace in her heart. She's yeah. hungry because her life is different. Uh, well, uh, Mary is hungry. She's got this sign, and, and the sign uh, was given her from the Lord. Uh, yeah. She is hungry because she realized that she thought she knew what the angel told her. But she's finding out what she's in for is even greater than she imagined. Y'all didn't get it. Y'all got to take something to this shot right there. See what you got to understand. God is, is more than God. God is bigger than himself. That my little finite T brain can't really begin to phantom what God is all about. That the one thing I've come to grips with, I gave up on trying to learn everything that is to learn about God. I wish I had been. Yeah, but every day, new blessings every morning. Every morning I wake up, I can find out something new about the Lord. I throw my prayers through the Bible more times than I can count. Every time I read it through, I see something I didn't see before. Because the God of the Bible has more in there than you can even imagine. That God is infinite. That means he's unlimited. You can't confine God. You can't put God in no building. Talk about like this is God's house. You can't put God in no nation. Talk about like this is his nation. God is bigger than all of that. He's bigger than the world. He's bigger than air. He's bigger than all that. I got to understand this God I serve is a constant God who's always growing. And my knowledge of God grow. He doesn't grow, but I, my understanding of God grow. Uh, he doesn't get bigger. He's still as big as he was at the beginning. But, but I learn something about him every day. That's why I got a problem with bored Christians. That, 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 that's a contradiction. That, that bored, how are you going to be a bored Christian if you're a Christian you're going to be saved by God? If you're saved by God, you shouldn't be bored. Because every time you walk with God, you're going to find something else you didn't know before. I, yeah, I was in church last Sunday, but I told you back there, every Sunday morning we pray, Lord, bless this service to be an extraordinary service. I know, I know God blessed us last Sunday, but I want him to do more this week than he did last week. I wish that every somebody knew I don't care how big it was. It's never too big for God. I, I don't care how great it was. It's not so great that God can't make it greater. Is there anybody here want to testify? You serve that kind of God? That he can make your day brighter. He can make your burdens lighter. Something else I want you to see here that, that he says, glory to God in the highest. Peace on earth. Goodwill toward Come on here, somebody. Well, when you look at the, when you look at the Greek for that word men, it really means laos. It's a Greek word laos, and it really means laity. Then Buster says, he says, peace to the laity. Glory to the, the laity. In other words, in other words, uh, a laity is not laity as being opposed to clergy. Because you see, when you say laity, y'all think. Laity is a second class citizen, and clergy is a first class citizen. No, no, that's not what he's talking about. He's talking about laity as being ordinary people. Ah, yeah. Y'all listen, y'all listen. Yeah. Versus folk who think they are special. Yeah, yeah. Y'all listen, y'all listen. Well, this is some shouting stuff right here. He, he said, he says you're gonna have glory when you understand the laity yeah. is really more important than the privilege. Yeah. You see, you see, sometimes you can't spread the message because you think you're all that in a bag of chips. Yeah. But God said, I got a message that. People can't spread. They too into themselves. They really don't have the good. I need some regular folk. I, I need some ordinary people to spread this message because ordinary people understand this is a special word. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I mean, I but you know what? You know what? You know what? Shepherds were the low class of society. They were considered the lowest of the low. They that tending sheep. They weren't considered to be special at all. But think about that when God decided to spread his announcement, guess who he gave the word to? <laughs> <laughs> no man else 
Jesus. You find angels singing the heavenly host, but to the shepherd. There was an angel who appeared to regular folk, ordinary folk. He said, I want you to spread the good news. So when I was shot right there, that, 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 that the good news of the Savior of the world was so important. He didn't trust it in the hands of kings. He didn't let heaven have the word. He didn't let God have the word. He picked some ordinary shepherds and said, to spread the word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you know, I wish I had somebody yeah. praying for me that yeah. thank God for the laity. Thank God for being ordinary. Thank, thank God that I'm not so much into myself that I don't, I don't know how to recognize this holy outstanding. That's why some of y'all can't enjoy Christmas. Shame on you if all you worry about what kind of gift you're going to get under the tree. Shame on you if all you can think about you don't have a Christmas gift. Shame on you if you're all upset because you didn't get what you want. Let me tell you what you got. You got a Savior that gave you another chance. You got somebody who died for all of your sins. You got somebody that only gives you a testimony that I thank God for Jesus. I see a cause of Christmas. I see the cause of Christmas. That's kind of shaky problem, ain't it? Uh, well, well, let me just quote a scripture to kind of give some validity to my claim. For God so loved the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That he gave his own name. Somebody read the Bible. Begotten son. Begotten means he was born of me. Born of his spirit. Yeah. The only one that was born that way. Yeah. I'm God's child, but, but Jesus is God's only begotten child. Yeah. You see, Joseph was just Jesus' daddy by name. Yeah. Come on here, somebody. Yeah. Felix is my daddy by biological contribution. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I wish I had it with here. But Jesus is the only one. Joseph didn't contribute anything biologically. Right. Yeah. He just there to be, I wish I had it yeah. to keep Mary from getting slain, slain killed. That, 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 that God, what, what was in Mary, was placed there by God. Yeah. Uh, it was a gift of God who had intercourse with Mary. No, not that nasty stuff y'all talk about. See, God can touch it without touching it. Oh, he can put it in the of This is an exciting stuff that God can take the egg and then, come on here, somebody, fertilize the egg without even touching the body. And when Mary knew anything, she's pregnant with the Holy Ghost. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's only begotten something. I shouldn't even say it all that. I just got excited. That's what the Christians talking about. God oh, preach sharp me get excited about stuff. Well, well, I see here the cause of Christmas is Jesus on the cross. Yeah. The cause of Christmas is that Jesus came to save us from our sins. Yeah. Wait a minute, that's the cause. Then the cause really is our sin. Yeah. The cause is our condition that, that we were messed up. We didn't have hope. We didn't have a chance. That it really was all due. But God loved us so much that he sends his son, his begotten son, to stand in our place so that we can have a chance. This, 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 this chance gives us salvation. And this salvation gives us peace. Oh, y'all look at me. Y'all look at me. Oh, yeah, you, you, you thought that you were all that. You, you, really, you really had peace with your sins. See, some of y'all sitting here all comfortable and easy. You, you really had peace with your sins because God sent Jesus to pay the price. How can a just God give us a chance when we really don't qualify for the just? Come on, somebody. If justice is served, we all burning in hell. Yeah, yeah, you can get quiet right there. If justice is served, we'd all be condemned. I ain't talking about what happened last year. We can just talk about this week. 
They need to know something about Jesus. And they need to know Jesus paid it all. And all to him we owe. Sin left a crimson stain. And he washes us and makes it white as snow. Oh, we ought to be pondering today. We ought to have the peace to ponder. Every now and then you need to turn the television on. Turn the radio off. And take your phone and put it off too. Man. Don't put it on silence. Turn it off. Man. Get on your knees and just talk to the Lord. Man. Just think about all that God has done for you. Just think about all that God has challenged you with. Man. Think about where God brought you from. Man. And where God is trying to take you to. Man.
bring to the problem solved. Jesus is the problem solved. We're not here to win nothing. It's the word that matters. Thank you. 